how are you all doing? Welcome to this NLite video leap tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to deal with the, or we're going to use the mixer tool. But the way we're going to use the mixer tool is we're going to bring a um, a light flare in, a custom made light flare. You can get them from anywhere, you know, just Google search light flares or background scratch backgrounds just to change the feel of the video footage that you've got or indeed if it is an image and you make it into a video then you can use it on the images as well so i've just got this stock footage in my timeline um i'm just going to go to mixer and then i'm just going to import this light flare and it's just going to sit over the top like this if you're gonna... so all i would say is if you are going to create your own sort of backgrounds let's say a gradient with some noise in which is quite nice you know you can have like make it into a light leak or something like that um then i would just say make it the same size template as your your video footage i would generally like this i created this custom light flare in affinity designer so um so whatever you're going to use just try and cre create it so it's um it's a good size so i'm just going to pinch and squeeze and increase the size of this and let's just see see what happens when we go to um, blending mode so if we go to blending we can just have a look at the overlay um multiply and then we've got the screen so this is what you could essentially use to um you know you could keyframe make a um a sort of a light flare from this using the different blend modes um but generally you're going to want to use either um the screen or the lighten with a darker background and if it was normal this has got a darker background right so if i go to screen here and then i drag this opacity down a little bit or the intensity down of um, of what's happening so you can see my light flare over here is going to move off the screen i'm just going to increase the duration of that so what i'm going to do from here um with this selected with this selected i'm going to keyframe it at the start here all the way up to here and then I'm going to increase the opacity so it just slowly comes in like this but what I'm also going to do I've got my keyframe there um, I'm going to just keyframe just again just um, either side of that and then I'm going to change this and make this bigger so it goes off the screen and then keyframe add the keyframe again so I've just add, added four keyframes, essentially one for the opacity, or two for the opacity, one at its lowest point, one at its highest point, and then two for the size, one at its smallest point, one at its largest point. And then let's see if we play through, let's just see what happens here. Six of the light flare, quite nicely coming into the background, and it gives you a real nice effect. Um, and I'll leave it just cut off early so we can see what it's like when it's gone. So now the light flare's gone. So you see, we sort of lose that effect right away. So there you go, a really simple effect that you can apply. And you can do this with many backgrounds. You know, you can make your own custom backgrounds, just a custom gradient with a real nice bright color on one side and a white or black color on the other side. So it allows you to um, change the blending mode. But I hope this helped you out. Have a, um, have a great day. Catch you all soon.